The Dodge Durango is a mid-size slash full-size SUV produced by Dodge in three generations starting with the 1998 model year. The first two generations were very similar in that both were based on the Dodge Dakota and Dodge Ram, both featured a body-on-frame construction and both were produced at the Newark Assembly Plant in Newark, Delaware through the 2009 model year. The third-generation Durango began with the 2011 model year. It is built on the same platform as the Jeep Grand Cherokee, features unibody construction, and has been assembled at the Jefferson North Assembly Plant in Detroit, Michigan since late 2010. The Durango was marketed as a sturdy truck-based SUV designed to hold up to seven passengers and tow up to 7,500 pounds 3, kilograms when properly equipped. 7. The Durango shared a front-end, instrument panel, and front seats with the Dakota pickup on which it was based and its taillights and liftgate handle with Chrysler's minivan models of the time. The Dodge Caravan, Plymouth Voyager, and Chrysler Town and Country. Original designs of the eight-passenger Durango featured a rear-facing third row similar to many older station wagons. To make room for a more practical forward-facing third row, Dodge shortened the length of the front doors and raised the roof two inches, 5 centimeters, beyond the front seats, allowing for stadium seating. The Durango's roof rack was designed to mask the appearance of the raised roof, 8. The 4.7L Magnum V8 replaced the 5.2L Magnum V8 engine for 2000, however, the 5.2 was still available in the early 2000 models. In that same year, a special AWD performance version called the R-T was released with a 5.9L Magnum V8. In 1999 and 2000, a limited edition Shelby S.P.360 version was offered that featured a supercharged version of the 5.9L Magnum V8 engine. Output is 360 horsepower, 268 kilowatts, 365 PS, and 412 LBFT, 559 Nm, of torque. Exterior modifications include unique wheels, tires, suspension, and bumpers. It came standard with Viper blue paint with two racing stripes down the center of the truck. It had a 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 97 kilometers per hour, time of 7.1 seconds. The top speed was 142 miles per hour, 229 kilometers per hour. Model year changes. Dodge Durango Sport. For 1999, the Durango was made available with two-wheel drive. A 3.9L Magnum V6 engine was available, but few were sold. Minor changes were made for the second year, two new paint colors, and options that included 6 by 9 inch, 150 mm x 230 mm, heated rearview mirrors and steering wheel mounted radio controls. Leather seats became standard on SLT Plus models, and body color wheel flares became standard on SLT Plus and four-wheel drive models. The 2000 model year included a new 4.7L Magnum V8 engine, which replaced the reliable 5.2L Magnum V8, as the standard engine for four-wheel drive models. The 3.9L Magnum V6 engine was no longer available, leaving only V8S for the rest of the production run. The high-performance Durango R-T came equipped with a performance-tuned 5.9L Magnum V8 and all-wheel drive. For 2001, Dodge focused on interior upgrades as Durango's interior trim panels, dash-mounted controls, instrument panel, overhead console, and steering wheel were all redesigned. 
The transfer case selector on 4x4 models changed from a manual lever on the console to a switch on the dash. The instrument cluster was updated, and an electronic vehicle information center was incorporated into the overhead console. For improved rear passenger comfort, a dual-zone climate control system was added as standard equipment. Sound systems were improved on all models and now came standard with six speakers. Other minor changes included door panels, revised seats, aluminum wheels, and minor changes to trim options. In 2002, the new SXT version of the Durango was offered as the entry-level trim package. Optional side curtain airbags were added for safety. The 2003 Durango featured minor mechanical changes, most notable was the addition of four-wheel disc brakes. In 1999, the 4WD 5.2L V8 and the 4WD 5.9L V8 held the best crash test results, earning a 6.8 out of 10 total rating. Trim Levels 1998-2003, SLT, most basic trim level of the Durango from 1998-2000. Mid-range trim level of the Durango from 2001-2003. SLT emblem. Included, cloth upholstery, keyless entry, power doors, locks and windows, 15-inch alloy wheels, and an AM-slash-FM stereo with cassette player and four speakers. 1998-2003, SLT+, Plus, most luxurious trim level of the Durango from 1998-2003. Included luxury features. Based on the SLT trim level. Never featured an SLT Plus emblem, but only an SLT emblem. Added, fog lamps, floor mats for the rear seat area, leather upholstery, power driver's seat, security alarm, and an AM-slash-FM stereo with single CD and cassette players with a graphic equalizer, infinity sound system with 8 speakers, and steering wheel audio controls. 2000-2003, Sport more basic trim level of the Durango from 2000 to 2003. Included basic features. Based on the SXT trim level. Sport decals. 2000 to 2003, SXT, most basic trim level of the Durango from 2000 to 2003. Included basic features. SXT decals. 2000-2003, R-slash-T, High Performance, Trim Level of the Durango from 2000-2003. Included Luxury and Performance-Oriented Features. Based on the SLT Plus Trim Level. R-slash-T Emblems. The SLT, SLT Plus, and Sport trim levels offered the 3.9L Magnum V6 engine as standard equipment, late availability starting in 1999, with the 5.2L and 5.9L Magnum V8 engines being available options, later switching to the 4.7L Powertech V8 engine, with the 5.9L Magnum V8 engine optional. The R-T and SP360 trim levels included the 5.9L Magnum V8 engine as standard equipment. The second-generation Durango was first shown as a concept dubbed Dodge Durango R-T concept at the 2003 Detroit Auto Show. It debuted shortly before the companion Dakota. Like the Dakota, it has much in common with the large Dodge Ram pickup, including a fully boxed frame. It is 7 in, 180 mm, longer, 2 in, 51 mm, wider, and 3 in, 76 mm, taller than the previous model. It also offered a third-row bench with three seats, 
giving it an eight-seat capacity. The design took its styling primarily from the Dodge Powerbox concept, which was itself based on the 1999 Dodge Power Wagon concept, and the 2003-2004 Durango R-T concept. The steering wheel and gauges are shared with the Dakota, 2005-2011, and the steering wheel was only shared the Ram pickup, 2004-2008. Debuting for 2004 was a new coil spring rear suspension for the solid rear axle. A Watts linkage system is fitted to the rear axle, centering the axle and reducing rear end skate over rough surfaces, and allowing a lower and wider cargo floor. Trim Levels ST, renamed SE later 2005 to 2009, most basic trim level basic features. Included, cloth upholstery, 17-inch steel wheels with hubcaps, anti-lock brakes, keyless entry, tilt steering wheel with speed control, an AM-FM stereo with a single CD player, and air conditioning. SXT added gray running boards and an AM-FM stereo with a 6-disc CD changer with MP3 capability. SXT, 2003-2009, Most Basic Trim Level, Basic Features SLT, 2003-2009, Value-Oriented Trim Level, Value-Added Features, Optional Luxury Features Added, Premium Cloth Upholstery, Power Driver Seat, 7-Passenger Seating, Rear Air Conditioning, and Fog Lamps SLT G package added overhead console with compass, temperature, trip odometer, average fuel economy, and distance to empty, an AM-FM stereo with 6-disc CD changer with MP3 capability, 276-watt Infinity audio system with 8 speakers, 17-inch alloy wheels, sentry key, security alarm, garage door opener and dual sun visors. Adventurer, 2005-2007, value-oriented and off-road look, trim level, value-added features, optional luxury features. Added, V8 engine, 17-inch alloy wheels, rear cargo organizer, and floor mats. Limited, 2003-2009, most luxurious trim level, luxury features. Added, leather upholstery, power adjustable pedals, auto dimming rear view mirror, an AM slash FM stereo with 6 disc CD changer with MP3 capability, a 378 watt infinity sound system with 8 speakers and subwoofer, a memory system for driver's seat, mirrors, stereo, and pedals automatic headlamps, automatic temp control, power mirrors, and leather-wrapped steering wheel with audio and speed controls.